Well, hello there. I'm Marty Whitney, and I'm glad you're here today. I hope that we have a clear transmission today because it is storming here. So let me know. I'm going to see if I can see your comments now. Uh, got a real interesting uh, show for you today. And we're going to have a nice new project here. But I'm going to get my comments in so I can see if you have any questions. So, there you go. <clears throat> now you can talk to me and I'll know what you're saying. Hello there. I'm going to turn off the sound. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm doing my last pitch for summer today. Uh, we're gonna work on flip-flops. And like I said, I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment, and um, I've been gone for about a week, so I appreciate you being patient with me, but uh, I had an outstanding opportunity to um, visit um, with about a thousand of my very best friends in Toronto, Canada, and what these are, are creative entrepreneurs. And I guess that's what I am. So anyway, uh, we had a lot in common. I learned a lot. And so uh, I decided that uh, uh, I just think about what, what, what the next step is for me. Uh, I designed the project that we're using today from a, an old project that I did and found a bag thinking it was another kind of bag. See, it's flip-flops. I blew out my flip-flops again, did you? Just like Jimmy Buffett said. So this is a cute project, but we're gonna be putting it, let me show you what we're putting it on. How about that, a bag? Um, now, this has a pattern to it. It's a flip-flop pattern. And, um, what, I, what I'd like to do, look, I have a little tattoo on my hand. It says Tribe Live. Leftover, I've tried everything I can to get off my tattoo, so if you know some way to do it, let me know. Um, I'd also like to, let me see, show you a few things, like um, who I am, Artitude Adjustment. It's fun art, not fine art. And this is me. And this is the name of our blog. I've been writing this for, um, let me see, about 11 years. And, hey Francis, and um, how you doing? Nice to see you. And if you ever want to read my blog, that's the address. So, uh, oh, and if you are on Instagram, there's my Instagram address. Or, if you are on Facebook, there's my Facebook address. So, anyway, I, I'm really happy that you're here, and I'm trying to show you some of the tricks of my, that I've learned. How about that? Um, whoops. Now we're going to get on with the project. But whatever you do, wear flip-flops. So... Um, I'm going to show you the project today. This is what it is. This is uh, a bag that I picked up. I thought it was a regular shopping bag, but it turns out it has two compartments. So you could either call that a wine bag, which I am not. I am not a wine bag. Or you could call it um, whoops, meant to take that off. Or you could call it um, a bag to take to the grocery store and get uh, two liter bottles in, two liter bottles in. And I don't know how they come because I don't buy them that way, but you see, you get the point. Big compartments. So what I've done is I've stuffed these uh, with plastic and, hey, Miriam, um, 
so that if the paint that I'm using bleeds through, it isn't going to bleed through to the other side. Please excuse my tattoo. So, um, anyway, uh, I'm glad that you're here, and let's get on with the show. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, the, the, if you decide that you'd like to um, do this with the pattern, and you email me your address, I will email you a picture of the exact pattern as well as the writing that I'm using on, uh, which is live, laugh, love, relax. And uh, it just is a, gonna be a really cute bag uh, to use all during the year. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get, get little. Oh, the uh, supplies that you're gonna need for this project are the bag. Um, probably a pencil, like a charcoal pencil, and I like charcoal because you can wipe it off. Um, also acrylic paint, whatever color your flip-flops are going to be. And this is, um, I would advise whenever you get the copy of this that I'm going to send you of the pattern that you uh, cut it out in a little thicker like I did mine on a paper plate because that was the thickest I could find at the time. But I also use brushes so see this project does not require a lot of, uh, pr uh, of supplies. So let's get on with this. I'm going to do a little bit of um, I meant to do that the other way around. So let me go back I might even do it. Uh, there, that's how we want it. See how little I get? I don't need to dye it anymore. Okay, um, <clears throat> now we'll be getting together tomorrow but probably not until I, we reach our destination. We're in Destin, Florida right now, and I'm on my way to Montgomery. So we've got, I'm not gonna say a time, but you'll see that I make an announcement. Hey Blanche, hey Betty Jo Ferguson. And uh, tomorrow I will uh, do some more on this, but now uh, I've got, oh, I wanted to show you some upcoming projects. This is one, it's a gourd, so get your gourds ready. Uh, this is uh, one that was made, uh, well, you can see it's flamingo, but I had a lot more of this stuff in it, and I think some birdies took it. Uh, this is the finished project that we just did last week, and let me turn it upside down. Uh, it turned out to be a really nice shopping bag. Um, it could be done on a pool, a tool pouch as well. So, um, if you are interested in this project or any of the others, just send me a, a message and I'll like a, a, a DM and uh, with your email address and I'll get you uh, the, the uh, whatever you need for that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to get down in the middle, down here in the lower right margin, and I'm gonna start painting this. So I've got some paints already, because I noticed the last time I did this, it took me about two minutes to get all the paints I wanted. I have already gone through, you, you probably can't make it out very well, but I have already gone through with my pencil and outlined the project. So it'll be easier, and it's not going to show up whenever you um, finish the project. I use acrylic paints always, and uh, uh, they take to this very, very well. And I'm going to get where I think you can see me very well. Okay, this is, is it picture in a picture? Hey, picture fine, but your voice keeps cutting off. That's because I keep getting up and I... 
away from the, uh, I'm sure it's because I'm getting up and getting away. So let me know, Meg, let me, sh let me know if it keeps cutting in and out. We are also experiencing some bad weather. Uh, keep making your comments, though, because I look up every once in a while. I'm trying to stay in line and be a good girl. Um, Meg, this picture is right up your alley. Uh, a lot of you are seeing lots of fall pictures now, and it just doesn't have to be all fall. We can finish up with a, with a flip-flop picture because I promise you, you'll use this bag all year long, not... Well, we do in Florida anyway. I'm, I'm right now in Destin, Florida. Uh, but we stay, during the winter months, we stay uh, in a little town called Webster. So if you're not familiar with Webster, um, are you able to hear me okay? If you're not familiar with Webster, Webster has the oldest flea market in the state of Florida continuously every Monday. But, uh-oh, that looks like it'll probably have to be something else. Splattered my paint because I got too much on my brush. Um, I don't ever worry whenever I do something like that with my paint uh, because I can go back and touch it up with acrylics or a pen, or it may become something magical. And in, uh, I will also um, go back and line this with a black Sharpie to make it stand out, to make it look finished. Uh, I don't know if I told you or not, but I only do fun art, not fine art. I was with a lot of really talented and gifted people uh, this week at uh, in Toronto, but I realize they can't do what I do. I, I don't do what they do, but they don't do what I do either. See, we all have very unique talents, and we need to use those God-given talents, so I'd like to encourage you to um to you